Well, I'm here at the Coromandel boat ramp this morning, going out for a ride for an hour or so. We drove up from Tauranga last night, and uh, I've never been here before, so this will be all new stuff. So I'll put the, the GoPro on the front of the car into deep water. Hook up the lanyard. Check the engine. There's my comrade there waiting to get a video of me leaving the wall. Not very deep here. So I've got a bit of burly bait here to go down by the end of my hooks here. Let's see whether they bit, bit more for the surface feeders. snatch that easy now so I've got these wedges and I tied them on here and they just help hold, hold me rod in place when I uh, are traveling so if it goes up that way there it's out of the way that a jellyfish there he is popping to the surface now See him there? So I'm transferring the GoPro onto this little floating device. I nearly lost it the other day uh, that I dropped it in the tide. Lucky I seen it go. But this is uh, the strategy here so that uh, at least it'll go to the surface. I might get another chance of it. Uh, because I'm on my own out here, I'll just take my PLB with me in the water in case I come up and my boat's are way over there and it's too far to swim to. So. It's always uh, intriguing to uh, pop over the side here because you never know what's going to happen. It's like entering a new world. So come with me and we'll have a look around. Oops, guess what I've forgotten? My weight belt. You must have the weight belt on. I'm going to whip a couple of weights out because I know that I'm uh, a lot lighter with this shorter uh, wetsuit on. So I'll take four out, two, four, six, eight pounds, yes. No, 10 pounds. So 10 pounds my buoyancy. Does it? It'll be part of the skills drill, get back on over the back of the boat too. This is the first time I've done that one. With the net and the rod there. So that's a bit to get to see whether I can get on over there. Let's go ashore and we'll see what happens. My flotation feels about right. Quick look at the anchor to see that that's going to be alright. 
Good, got a new battery in it now. I'll put those couple of weights back in because uh, I'm just not quite heavy enough to stay right down the bottom. They might as well be in there. So this flight I've got uh, additional weight, some burly to get closer to those fish and I took my leather glove in case I see a crayfish. I think I've seen a, uh, a feeler arm out there. A bit of uh, weight and there, I can put that on the bottom that the fish won't be able to snag it away. So, come for a ride and we'll see what happens. Cabin crew, check all doors. That's on, that's on, that's on. Let's check the yeah, air, that's on. That's on. Camera's on. Anchor's up. Put my lanyard to my body. See, this is Cow Island here. Right, let's go out a bit wider. That's the top of the thoroughbred. Over to Waiheke Island and on the Dolphin. Everything's in order. Let's go. Thank you. 
Come with me. been out there come into here and it gets shallow now there's your first two markers your second two markers third two markers and there's that boat over the back there I got to the second two markers here and I could see the boat in front of me was in trouble kicking up mud and I started uh, making seafood chowder too out of the mussels and cockles in the tide as well so I was able to extricate myself back out into the blue water Went for a look over to the other side to see whether I could get out over there. There is a boat ramp there, but for Bev to find that was a bit awkward. So I made a run for the end of the wharf here. And now I got the van here, we're having a cup of tea and we're waiting our time until the tide comes in. Uh, about another three hours, I suppose. Just for a view, hey? Beautiful. And a good excuse to be here. So Bev uh, has caught up with me here now. We've had our meal here on the edge of the water. I've got my cup of tea, Bev's cup of tea. So all we've got to do now is wait for time to pass.